Hey everybody. Um, yesterday I watched uh, something on YouTube that was on Fox News a few years back whenever Barack Obama was still president. Um, they had Duck Dynasty patriarch Phil Robertson on the show talking with Sean Hannity and um, they were talking about dealing with radical Islam and um, Sean Hannity is asking Phil, he says It, it seems like everybody's walking on eggshells dealing with radical Islam. Why do you think that is? And feels like, well, I think maybe it's because we're lacking a little historical context here. Let's go back to the five ideologies of the 20th century. Two of them are still vibrant. The one we're currently facing is the Islamist the terrorists and this political correctism which is atheism basically and um, he says there's all this idealism determinism there's always an ism or a theory that people expand on when there is no Jesus. And um, Tucker Carlson says, why would you do that in a Judeo-Christian country followed by Judeo-Christian principles? And feels like, but you said the magic word founded on the Judeo-Christian system. But we are now experiencing what the other ideologies finally came full bore. No Jesus. America is now experiencing no Jesus. That's why whenever you have no Jesus, your morality disappears, and the third thing that goes away is your freedom. He says, we've already lost Jesus as a nation. We lost him. We've walled him out of our schools. We've walled him out of our government. We just walled him off. We're having trouble labeling who we're fighting over there because there's no moral compass. There's no godliness here anymore. So the ones of the two are left, all I can say is love God and love your neighbor. Islam will say, submit to Muhammad or we will kill you. And um, Hannity made a um, a comment to Phil saying whenever he made controversial comments about gays and lesbians that if you're in some Muslim country and you're you're um, gay and lesbian they kill you and. Um, feels like I label it for what it is sin when there's somebody asks where it'll be drug abuse or <coughs> getting drunk and um, he says well it's sin according to the Bible here but however you can be saved and all your sins will be wiped away and all you have to do is love God and love your neighbor He says, America has the story we were founded on, and old Patrick Henry said it best. He says, it cannot be said too often that this great nation was not founded by religionists, but it was founded on the gospel of Jesus Christ, and that's why we let other people of other faiths come in here. And to tell you the truth, 
letting people of other faiths come in our country was a big mistake. This country should have only been made for people who love America and people who follow the Bible and what it says. It shouldn't have been made for, for illegal immigrants. It shouldn't have been made for Muslims. And the problem is Muslims do not worship the same God like we do. And that's a shame. And to tell you the truth, they need to be put under capital punishment. God's Word teaches that. It needs to happen. We need to put all these Muslims in capital punishment so we can't hear their voices anymore. And not only that, all the Democrats in Congress need to be put under the same thing. So they can be out of our lives and we can be free again. That's what needs to happen. And for some reason they won't do it. And it drives me crazy that we have all these people in here. If you're going to come in our country, you respect our laws and our rules and our religion. If you can't do that, get out. So that's all I'm going to say. If you're able to, please rate, comment, or subscribe, and I'll do more videos later on. Thank you.